Hi everyone, welcome to Leading Experts. I'm Grayson Foster and thank you for joining me. What is the world's highest paid skill? Well, believe it or not, it's public speaking. And my guest today, Steve Siebold, is one of the world's highest paid professional public speakers. Steve is a former professional athlete and national coach. He spent the past 25 years studying the thought processes, habits, and philosophies of world-class performers. Today, he helps Fortune 500 companies increase sales through mental toughness training. Steve is the author of three books on mental toughness. His first book, 177 Men Mental Toughness Secrets of the World Class sold over 100,000 copies. Steve's national television show, Mental Toughness with Steve Siebold, won the 2007 Tully Award for Most Outstanding Motivational Talk Show. In 1996, Steve attended the world-famous Bill Gove Speech Workshop and later partnered with Bill to form the Gove Siebold Group. For the next five years, the partners spoke all over the world until Mr. Gove passed away on December 9th, 2001. In 2005, the National Speakers Association awarded Steve the Certified Professional Speaker Designation for Platform Excellence and Business Success. Steve ranks among the top 1% of income earners in the professional speaking business, and he's with us today to share some of his most powerful professional speaking techniques and how you can use them to catapult your career and increase your incomes. Why is public speaking the highest paid skill? Well, 95% of the population is terrified of public speaking. Yes. So that leaves 5% that are actually out there doing it all over the world and a smaller percentage of people who are really competent at it. So it's really a tiny percentage of people that do this and when you have a tiny percentage of people doing anything and they do it well, they're going to be highly paid. Right. Makes makes perfect sense. Um, so you are currently one of the highest paid professional speakers in the world. Were you ever afraid? Oh, yeah. I was terrified. Yeah. yeah I, I was in love with my eighth grade science lab partner. And she sat across from me and I was oogling her one day in class. <laughs> and I didn't see the teacher. He was reading from the science book. Mm -hmm. And he came behind me and he slammed the science book down on my desk. And it startled me. And it embarrassed me in front of her, of course. And she, of course didn't even notice me the whole year anyway but now he's even further behind with uh -huh. her and it scared me and he said oh, I want you to read Siebold I want you to read the next chapter and I just froze I mean my I, I just I just froze and yeah. I couldn't read it and then he embarrassed me and he said sit down and literally for the next four years I was terrified to go to class because I thought I would have to read and I would be embarrassed again isn't that funny? So obviously you've gotten over that fear. It was terrible. I mean, it's funny yeah. now, but it was really a terrifying experience for four years. Yeah, but most people are afraid to speak. I know if you have to speak at a wedding or even, you know, any other event, people are just like, oh my God, don't call on me or don't ask me to do it. I don't want to do it. Yeah, right. Um, how many speeches have you given? This is, I'm just interested. It's a great question. No one's ever asked me the totals. Yeah. I, I guess about maybe a, for paid speeches, probably about a thousand paid really? speeches, I suppose. Yeah. Amazing. Um, how do you begin to make money public speaking? So people that are watching today's show, how can they get started? Well, there's so many ways. If you have a job, for example, become a public speaker and you get the visibility you're going to gain, the credibility you're going to gain in the company is going to be fantastic I and mean, mm -hmm. it's going to be big. Very few people will do it. Again, small percentage of the people. Right. So you stick out. If you have a career, same thing. If you have a business, use public speaking to generate business and, and customers. If you're an entrepreneur, same exact thing. And then some people actually, uh, like myself, for example, see the power of public speaking and they say, wait a second, there's actually a group of people that do this for a living. Now, it's a small group of people around the world, yeah. but they actually get paid to give speeches, mm -hmm. which markets their business on the back end. Mm -hmm. So you actually get paid to market yourself. It's a pretty good thing. Yeah. <laughs> And, and you also have to like travel as well, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Because you travel yeah. all over the world. Yeah, you, you go and you go to the great garden spots of the world. You know, you're, you're going to the resorts, you're going to convention centers around the world. So mm -hmm. you're going to all these beautiful places. They pick you up in stretch limousines, they put you in fancy suites, and they treat you like a rock star, for <laughs> lack of a better way to say it. And not that we're rock stars, but right. you do get that kind of treatment, and it's, it's a pretty good gig if you can get it. Okay, is, yeah. we are going to uh, take a look at a clip right now. You gave a speech to 8,000 salespeople in Los Angeles. So right. we're going to take a look at that clip and then talk about it on the other side. His book, 177 Mental Toughness Secrets of the World Class, has sold over 100,000 copies. His new book is Coaching 177 Mental Toughness Secrets. Steven's national television show, Mental Toughness with Steven Siebel, won the 2007 Telly Award for the most outstanding motivational talk show, and he's here in the house with us this morning. 
In 2005, the National Speaker Association awarded Steve the Certified Professional Speaker designation for platform excellence and business success. As a professional speaker, listen to this, Steve ranks in the top 1% of all income earners worldwide. Is that a big deal? Could you learn something just a little bit from Stephen this morning? What do you guys think? He's with us today to share some of the most powerful mental toughness coaching techniques you can use to increase your team's retention and growth rate. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand up and help me give me the WFG warmest welcome to our good friend and mentor, Mr. Stephen Siebold! This is what these people believe. 25 years of interviews. Listen to this. They believe, <laughs> this is beautiful. They believe this. The universe is conspiring to help me get everything I want. The universe is conspiring to help me get everything I want. Like, it's a conspiracy, man. It's a conspiracy. They believe this. This isn't fake. This isn't positive thinking. They have programmed themselves to believe that the universe is conspiring. It's on their side. Like, they're the chosen one. It's not phony. They believe it. And they've programmed themselves consciously to believe it. And people say in the middle class all the time, which I did exactly the same thing. Oh, that's so ridiculous. Oh, come on. That's so, dis that's so pedestrian can't work can't be that easy all right so steve um you are definitely a bit of a rock star for the audience <laughs> that attended uh how does that feel to get up and stand up in front of eight thousand people and and talk and motivate them well it feels great and i mean i, I kid about the rock star piece it's a but it is an ego a little bit of an ego driven thing and it makes you feel great you got yeah. eight thousand people cheering your name and you're signing autographs and that and that in that crowd i signed autographs for maybe two hours before the speech maybe two or three hours afterwards. And then the next day, so I'm a celebrity, mm -hmm. and you're a celebrity when you're a speaker in the actual auditorium, and you walk outside and you can't get a cab. Yeah. So, because nobody <laughs> knows you, you're, you're a niche market celebrity, which yeah. is just the best, because you can live a normal life, but you can also enjoy the, the benefits of, of some of niche celebrity, which helps grow your business more than anything, more the ego-driven piece. It, it helps you grow your business. Right, so how does someone get started in public speaking then? Well, there's a lot of ways. If, no, for example, you mentioned fear, of course, which is a big deal. If you're terrified of public speaking, go to Toastmasters. Mm -hmm. Go to toastmasters.org. It's a great group. They help for 100 years. They've been helping people overcome the fear of speaking. If you want to be a professional speaker, if you want to get paid to do this, I would do what I did, what most of us have done in this business over the last 60 years, and that's attend the Bill Gove Speech Workshop. Okay. It's the most successful program in the history of the business. Uh, it's been called the Harvard of professional speaking schools. And the, its claim to fame is it's trained more million dollar professional speakers than any program in history. It's amazing. Okay, and obviously we have the uh, your website running on the bottom of the screen, but it's speechworkshop.com. Speechworkshop.com. Okay, and that's where people can go and get registered. Right. All right, um, how, how, uh, how many workshops do you give a year? We do about 14 workshops around the United States and then, and then a couple of uh, workshops in, in Europe and also in Australia. And let me just say, anybody can public speak about any topic. Is that correct? Yes, anyone can do this. I mean, that you have to, you have to like any other skill. It takes a little time to learn if you're going right. to be competent, and then it really can be about any topic that an audience is willing to listen to and sees a benefit from. All right, we are going to take a bit of a break, Steve. So don't go anywhere. Stay with us, everybody. Leading experts continues right after this.